from SusannaHess.com. I got started in my home-based business because I wanted to be able to stay home with my four kids. Two of them are teenagers, two of them are just starting school, and I just felt like it was really important for me to be there for them. I want to be there when they get home from school. I want to be there for any sporting events and things like that. It was a big deal for me to stay home with them. And my vision for 2011 is to make it even better than 2010. And this year, I want to at least double our total household income, and I want to help at least six people do the same. Happy New Year! Happy 2011! Woo! Bye-bye! Make it a good one! Hi, my name is Dewan Haywood. I'm the face behind One Determined Six to Eight. My website is www.dewanhaywood.com. Again, that's www.dewanhaywood.com. I am currently a network marketer, and I partner with a phenomenal company called Team Efforts, which launched a phenomenal product by the name of My Video Talk. I am completing this video because my partner, Sean, my buddy, wanted to get the word out on some people who really are really working really hard in the network marketing business, but sometimes we don't always get the shine, but that's okay. As long as you continue pushing forward, pressing forward, it will come. I just wanted to tell everyone hello, check out my website, and also to let you know that network marketing, it takes time, but it will come, just like everyone else. Our goal is prosperity and wealth and being able to help someone else. Remember, in order to get what you want, you have to help other people get what they want. Thank you. Happy New Year. My name is Jay Kamara and a year ago, practically today, I was in California thinking, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? In the UK, a lot of organisations are restructuring, they're losing people. I didn't want anybody to dictate whether or not I was going to stay in a job or lose a job. I refused. So I decided to look at alternatives to see what I can do to, you know, become my own boss. And from one decision has created a, a whole wealth of opportunities. There are no limits to what we can do and what we can achieve. So I've put no boundaries or limitations onto my, onto my visions for 2011. My visions for 2011 are going to be huge, purely because I'm allowing myself to dream and to dream big. To keep up to date with what I'm up to, you can follow me on my blog at www.jkamaraonline.com. God bless everybody and I wish you all a fantastic 2011. Remember, you can make it happen, no one else can. Hi everyone, my name is Catherine Leo and I'm a business owner with Arvon International. It's a network marketing company that has pure, safe and beneficial products. And the reason I chose network marketing is because it's the wave of the future. You see, the way that we're doing business nowadays is becoming obsolete due to technology and social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I mean, you can post a comment and within two seconds, people are all replying on it. And I think that a lot of people are more likely to trust a friend or someone they met on Facebook rather than a spokesmodel telling them what's good for them and what they should buy. My vision for 2011 is to help as many people as possible to make healthier choices in their lives and also to help them get out of the rat race and teach them how to build a business. I have workshops set up in 2011 where I plan to teach people about the toxins in their products and show them other alternatives as well as teaching them how to build a business so they could lead a life by design rather than just getting by with the 9 to 5. Hope to see you on the next video. Be well. The difference between an entrepreneur and most other people is the way that they view obstacles. Most people will see an obstacle in their pathway as a problem, but an entrepreneur sees it as a lesson and a, a challenge. So they'll find a way to get over, around or through whatever the obstacle is and they'll find a way to learn something from it. And for me, I did that for the first time when I was a child. I was in a car accident and a coma. And when I came out, out of the coma, the doctors told me that I'd never be able to speak, write or read properly again. Well, I wanted to be an author, so I couldn't let that be true. So I made the decision at that point that I wasn't going to allow other people to tell me what I couldn't do, even if they were adults and specialists, and that I would find a way to do what I needed to do, even if it meant having to get my brain to work differently. So I did that. And as a consequence, next year, my first novel comes out 
and I've got a degree in English now as well and I'm also not only at average level um, IQ which they said I'd never be able to get to but I'm in the top 2% and I'm a member of the International Higher IQ Society. So what is there that's in your pathway at the moment that you're seeing as a problem that if you view it as a lesson could take you somewhere amazing in 2011? Sam and Veronica from SamandVeronica.com And we're a brother and sister team coming at you from Las Vegas. One of the reasons why I wanted to start a home-based business is that, is that you have an opportunity and a plan for wealth, whereas in a job you do not. One of the many reasons I wanted to start a home-based business is that I always have believed that you have more control over your income in your own business. And also your income uh, with the business is multiplied through leverage as opposed to a job where it's only increased through addition with the job there. Our goals for the new year is to uh, build our business through internet marketing and help others do the same and to reach the top levels in our company. We wanted to give a special shout out to our buddy Sean and uh, thank him for this opportunity. He's a great leader to learn from and we wish everyone watching this peace and prosperity in 2011. Take care and have a nice day. Tony Smith. The reason that I started my own home-based business is duty, plain and simple. You see, I'm a single mom of two beautiful girls, and it is my responsibility to show them the path to financial freedom and independence. So, my goals for the upcoming year are to increase the prosperity of my posterity and community. I plan on taking my business to such a level it not only benefits my immediate family, but all those who choose to associate with us. So yes, 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 2011 shall be blessed. Happy New Year, everybody. Hello, my name is Dolores Green. I worked in corporate America on someone else's dream until I got the pink slip in January of 2010. And then I took responsibility for my financial destiny, and I crowned myself CEO of the ExecutiveConsumer.com, my home office business. My mission is to help individuals reach their full potential as business owners, living better lives and creating generational wealth. My goals for 2011 is to provide products and services worldwide and to continue developing as a businesswoman of integrity, building one of the greatest team of millionaires in Zamzu. See you at the top, the very top. Hey guys, Shante Epps here, The Brooklyn Marketer, and I wanted to talk to you briefly today about entrepreneurship, uh, my vision, and also my goals. The reason why I do what I do is because, you know, I used to work in corporate America and I absolutely hated it. I used to go to work every day, you know, not really wanting to, um, you know, I was bored and I also, you know, I just felt like I was doing something that wasn't really helping anyone and it wasn't something that I was passionate about so if someone was to ask me why do I do what I do that is the reason because I never ever want to step foot back in a corporate office ever again in my life um, as far as my vision my vision you know for myself is to grow more spiritually and mentally um, I believe that it will help me you know be a better overall person in general um, I also would like to build a brand that resonates with everyone. 
Uh, and uh, some of the goals that I have for 2011 is that I want to be able to travel more with my family because they absolutely deserve it. And um, I also want to be able to help as many po people as possible succeed in this industry. So those are the three things I wanted to talk to you guys today about. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.